quiet so I don't wake everyone up. I'm about to do my very first Run Disney race. I think I've told the story in the past, so I'm not going to tell it here, but I tried to do it at Disney World like five years ago. No, no, longer than that. But anyway, there was inclement, like severe weather, and so they canceled it like hours after I landed in Orlando. <laughs> so I've never actually gotten to do it. But anyway, doing it today, I'm doing the 10K and really excited. But the one thing I will say that's nice about the way Disneyland does it is you don't have to get on any transportation to get to the start line. If you're staying on property like we're at the Disneyland Hotel, I just walk through downtown Disney and keep on walking until I get to where the start line is. It's beyond the two parks, so I'm just assuming there will be people there guiding us to where to go. I've got my burner shirt I'm gonna throw away because it's got a stain on it, but it is 40 degrees out, so it's cold. I've got a head thing. I had two gloves, can't find the other. <laughs> so. I don't think I'll be bringing that. And I wasn't gonna bring my phone just because I don't wanna have to carry it and I don't have like an armband. I don't usually run with an armband type thing. But I know that with Disney races, there's characters to meet and like taking selfies with them. And I'm like, probably gonna want my phone. So I guess I'm just gonna carry it. I could maybe stick, tuck it in my sports bra or something. Maybe I'll do that. So hoping to not have to check any gear when I'm there, um, but I, I need to stretch. I'm drinking a few sips of coffee and I'm drinking some water. I have a protein shake. <laughs> And I'm gonna have a banana, maybe bring a bar or something with me and we should be good to go. Okay, not as cold as I thought it would be. Also, so many people out, which is just exciting. We're just getting started. So the big questions I had going into this was like, okay, they say the staging area opens at 3.30, be there around four, but the first people, the fastest people don't start until 5 a.m. So I'm like, I, I don't think I need to be there right at four. Seems like most people would agree because at 3.53, it's probably gonna be another 10 or, I don't know, 12 minutes, maybe longer until I get there. <laughs> but um, again, once you get there, then you get in your crowd and you just kind of stand there. So I think timing wise, this is good. Looking around, a lot of people have like big blankets. They're literally just wrapping around themselves and I'm assuming they'll shed them at the either starting line or soon after, which is smart. I always get like, like if you can get a thrifted shirt or something that you don't care about, you can toss off. But I will say, I had a few sips of coffee this morning, but I wish I just had like a strong thing of espresso. It would have been just absolutely perfect. But I know I'll wake up soon when I thought I'd wake up when I got in the cold weather, but my eyes are still like <laughs> so tired. So <sighs> we'll wake up at some point. I brought a water I'm drinking. Again, we still have like an hour or so before we start. But usually for me, like, 40 minutes before I run. I try not to drink or eat anything because it just bothers my tummy. So if I'm gonna eat any more, I need to eat this banana soon. But I already have that protein shake and a cheese stick, so I'm not really, and it's so early in the morning, like who is used to eating this early, you know? So I don't know if this banana will end up getting eaten, eaten or not. <laughs> what am I saying? But there is something fun about like commiserating when like everyone that's doing the same thing as you is like also tired and cold and like, I remember when we would get up early for show choir competitions, I loved that feeling of being there super early in the morning with your friends and like, we're all kind of tired, but you're excited. And there's, there's gotta be a name for that collective, like, I don't know, but I love it. And that's how I'm feeling right now. It is kind of cool though to walk through downtown Disney and everything's closed. It's spooky. Another run Disney tip from me to you, wear something that has a pocket, like leggings with the phone pocket because like I said, you're going to want your phone to take pictures. Mine don't. <laughs> they have the tiny like key pocket. So I was able to put right now all my AirPods are in there and my room key card. <laughs> but I tried to stuff my phone in there. Doesn't quite. So just saying if you were like prepping or preparing for one, especially Disney one where you're going to take photos and stuff, I would wear leggings that have a phone pocket or do like the phone armband type thing. That's all. I'm just needing someone to talk to because a little lonely on this walk. <laughs> so we just passed through the two parks are on either side and we are going beyond it away from down Downton Disney. <laughs> okay getting closer to the starting line it looks like we're kind of getting outside the Disney bubble a bit. I see Denny's and IHOP so <laughs> it's like Times Square New York. <laughs> okay another smart thing a lot of people have those uh heated thingies you get after a race which is kind of smart <laughs> to keep it from one or you could buy some and just wearing those so then they're even easier to toss off. I'm obviously focused on this because all I'm thinking about right now is how cold it is, but it's totally doable. Anyway, this purple lighting, 
I don't know if it's capturing it, makes this alley seem quite magical, especially with everyone's glittering, <laughs> the glittering ensemble we have here. So the other thing is, I thought about doing a costume for this and didn't end up doing it. I have like Disney colors on. We've got purple and teal, but never pulled the trigger on one because I was worried about it being cold. You totally could, like if you were wanting to do like a cute skirt and thing, like a lot of people have that and it looks like they've got at least a pair of leggings on underneath, maybe two. So it's totally doable. I think if I ever did this again, whether Disney World or here, I'd probably try to do a cute, fun outfit. Really fun if you're doing it with someone else though too, you know? Like I've seen some cute couples. One up there is like Beauty and the Beast and they have like sequin jackets on it, so it's just fun. For the longest line was security just then. We went through security to get into downtown Disney, but then they had it to get into this rings area. So I am gonna find a restroom, get rid of this water bottle, recycling, and um, yeah. I'm excited. All right, we've made it to the corral, so I'm gonna head back to where I go. <laughs> we just did like one last minute potty break. Went back to my corral. Five minutes till they start at the front. Um, basically just got a warm up jog in, so I'm feeling a little warmer, which is nice. All right, finally entering a park. Sorry, my lens is so dirty. This is pretty cool. Okay, Goofy's meeting over there. The line for so many characters is so comically long. I'm like, I, I don't know. Like that's longer than you'd wait in the actual park during normal hours. I mean, I gotta admit, <laughs> this is the coolest part so far. We're about halfway through. We just made it in Disneyland Park. This is even more exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we're getting to see a lot of the parade floats back here. Cause I guess parade maintenance is in this last mile. How cool! <laughs> Nothing quite like <laughs> ending a race as the sun sets, which is just cool. But we've got all the snacks and bananas and Powerade. I'm definitely now getting cold now that I sat and stretched for a while. I'm amazed at how few people stretch after a run. Like, if I don't stretch before and after a run, my hips will hurt forever. <laughs> If I do, they're fine. But however, it was not fun stretching, of course, on the asphalt, but you make do. But anyway, all right, I'm gonna head back. This was totally awesome. Would do it again. One of those races that was so easy to complete, even if you don't run, and your mind is not really on the running much because you're so busy looking at all the stuff. So 10 out of 10, totally would do again, totally recommend. Well, I thought about popping into Starbucks, but I think I'll, I'll get coffee in the room. I think if I planned better, though, I uh, could have done, like, mobile order, and then it would have been ready. You can always tell when I'm cold. My nose gets so red so quickly, and both Genevieve and Felicity's, their noses get red, like, instantly, too, when they're cold. It's cute. Anyway, so back to the room. I think I'm going to pop by the lounge and get some coffee. I don't even think they're awake yet. I texted Tyler just now and said like, hey, let me know if you're up, whatever. And I do think I woke Felicity up when I was getting up and getting ready. I'd set everything in the bathroom, like ready to go so I could be unobtrusive. So if he's up, I was gonna bring him a coffee too. So we'll see, but I'm excited to get inside and uh, get a shower. <laughs> Okay, we are finally Hello. heading into the park. You've obviously been vlogging this morning. I feel like I've been up for 15 hours. I, I, I <laughs> am you kinda fascinated. Have. Um, but we're headed to, uh, I don't know if we mentioned Michael and Cher coming into uh, Disneyland today, so we're about to go meet them at the gate, and then we're gonna be in Disneyland. I've been here for four days, and I still haven't even seen the castle, so. Yeah, you haven't been in Disneyland Park No, sure. very excited. It's crazy. It is crazy that a thousand years ago, early this morning in the dark, I ran through here and through the castle. Like being back during the day, such a different vibe. It's almost hard to reconcile in my mind, but my hips don't lie. Those are hurting. So <laughs> but anyway, we are deeper in the park. We're gonna go to Storybook Land Canal Boats first because it's like a 10 minute wait. It is a personal fave because they don't have that in Disney World. So it's always exciting to me. Genevieve's excited. And then we were thinking pirates maybe, because I think it's like 15 minutes. We are definitely gonna go meet Minnie and Mickey at their house in Toontown, because as we said, my brother and sister-in-law are here, Michael and Cher, and their sweetie pie 
also loves mini, so we're dead. That's that's in the cards for sure. Maybe some iced coffee. On Minnie Mouse's house. Ooh. Holy Girls vibes. We're at Hungry Bear. We're going to get some lunch for all of us. So cute. They have a decent kids menu too, and they've got that top of meal again, which I think is so genius. Just telling Michael, I did not realize it, uh, when they say Hungry Bear, it's the Country Bears. So close. True. That was pretty good. We both got the spicy chicken sandwich, and it was really good. Yeah, and they again, the kids meal options are just nice. Hungry Bear. Yes. Okay. Yep. So we're gonna go try to ride Pooh Bear um, because all of the kids we know will like that. Hopefully, it's not too long of a wait. And then we'll uh, see what we get into. We were just looking at the sailing ship Columbia. We might get on that because that would be fun. It's right there. Okay, it was almost 6.30. <laughs> we finally just wrapped up nap time. So we're gonna go back. I'll be there for a couple hours, probably three hours, and then I gotta go back because I gotta get my stuff set out for tomorrow and get it all ready for uh, the half marathon. And then uh, Jessica's here too. <laughs> but we're gonna ride the monorail into, uh, into the park. We haven't done that yet. Okay, strike that. We're going to walk because we didn't realize we had to break down our strollers. And we have two strollers and we're like, all right, not, not worth it tonight, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Once upon a time, a kind and lovely princess named Snow White had a wish, but her wish was not meant to be. For the cruel queen, envious of her beauty, commanded she be a humble maid. All right, we're on Snow White's ride. Oh, daddy with his girls. We're doing the Sleeping Beauty Castle walkthrough. Fearful of Maleficent's curse. Can you step into the street that all spinning wheels be burned, or do we miss the curse? I love the hallway. Okay, we're trying to eat at Tiana's palace, and so we're just over here, and they've got some sort of show going on. I don't know what it is. Is it just like a Princess and the Frog storytelling kind of thing? Okay, the exact second I walked over and stopped to film it, it, it it's over. Cool though. Okay, I absolutely love that they have the recipe cards on the wall. It makes me so happy. Yeah. 
Yum, yum, yum. We just got to Tiana's Palace. We got the gumbo, we got a mufalada. Are these just beans and rice? Yeah, it came with the mufalada. Okay, and Beignet, oh wow. Okay. Kids menu, here. That's the kids menu, okay. Cornbread, look. It looks like there's jalapenos in there. Got oh some butter. boy. Ooh, baby. And then over there, up until just about 10 seconds ago, there was a live band playing jazz music too. Amazing. Supposedly this is a their beignet and it's not very good. It doesn't look like a beignet. It is their beignet. Well, it's Tiana's famous man catching beignets, which I had very high hopes for. It's fine. It's just not a beignet. I don't feel like it. It's like a cream filled lemon square. Donut. Lemon bar. But it's lemony. Yeah, it's, but it's not like this, like. Lemon custard in it. Yeah. No, no powdered sugar. Or a beignet. No powdered sugar. Which again, I'm assuming they were trying to go like outside of the box for this, but it's fair, just the, a little too far. In the movie, outside. she puts powdered sugar all over the. Wait, that's right. I'm saying. <laughs> that's I that's so I, true. I wouldn't, call, I wouldn't call it beignet. Yeah, I was not a huge fan, and I even like lemon desserts, but that was not a that was not a favorite. Yeah. You are right between for pirates. walking through the side area behind Main Street now to exit the park, which is so cool. We've never done it here. Obviously they have the area in Walt Disney World we've done before, but never done it over here and it's kind of cool. You just saw the uh, some Jungle Cruise boats over on the side and stuff. It's fun. Yeah. Girls are out. It's like 9.30. We got to see the like fireworks -y show, if you will. I was hoping to be back, me to be back at the room by 9. I'm well, glad I stayed to see that was the cool. little fireworks show. That was cool. Yeah. So we are... Well, I'll get the girls to bed so you can kind of get your stuff set up. Yeah. Um, but back to the beignet at Tiana's Palace. First of all, <laughs> I want to talk about it. That food, the food food, was so incredible. Yeah, incredible. Food, food, food. <laughs> the mufalata sandwich, loved. If you like olives, you will love that sandwich. The uh, like Not gumbo like with the chicken and... Good. Like in New, in Orleans, New Orleans, but, but probably one of the better ones. It was outside. good. The gumbo with the andouille. I think they were like out of their house gumbo. So what we got was a little, it was really, really good. Definitely had a little kick to it, but not too much. Like I don't like spice, but I would recommend if you get that, get the cornbread. It is sweet cornbread and it was so good. And if you, it is a little spicy, I was eating it, having a bite of cornbread. Lissy was loving the cornbread too. So, um, but yeah, that beignet. I, we were even watching them make it. So they weren't like old or anything weird. Like I watched them make the one I grabbed. It just, yeah. Wasn't your favorite, yeah. Yeah. I think I just like a traditional beignet is all. Yeah. But the food, I would totally recommend. So we did get a churro. Yeah. So it made yeah. up for it, you know. Disneyland churros, so much better. I do think they're better. Anyway. I thought we dropped something. All right. All right. Well, we're going to sign off. See you guys in a couple hours. We love you. Bye.